today. It's Yellow Friday. Please, all of you citizens, wear a touch of yellow. Very good afternoon to everybody, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us uh, on today's press up. Let me begin by apologizing for the five minute delay in our start. This was occasioned by the fact that we were receiving an urgent report from the Elections Directorate, which had conducted an inquiry into some of the things that we're going to talk about today. It's Yellow Friday. Please, all of you citizens, wear a touch of yellow as your statement of hope for a bright new Zimbabwe where we have ethical leaders and every citizen counts. Now, over the last few days since the watershed announcement by President Nelson Chamisa, the People's President, of the birth of a new political party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, we have succeeded in painting the whole nation yellow. Every village, every town, every city, and indeed the diaspora is singing the yellow song and has been gripped by the yellow fever. Now, as said by President Nelson Chamisa, this coalition, this movement, is a brand new political party with a brand new philosophy that puts the centers back at the set, that puts the citizens back at the center of all decision making. Our goal is to inspire hope and a thirst for change in Zimbabwe's political space. The Yellow Movement speaks the politics of hope, of accountability, and of development. And so in this regard, it's important to say that the community candidate selection process of which you've all no doubt heard about by now, is a revolution in our political space. And it's inspired by the idea that the citizens have to be at the center of deciding which candidates will represent them in their communities. Consensus, broader participation, and avoiding some of the toxicity that has in the past been associated with primary elections in Zimbabwe's political arena is the inspiration behind this new candidate selection template. It's a process that is fresh, that is new, and directly in line with our philosophy that the new citizen movement will put the people back into our politics in Zimbabwe. They must have a strong say in any issue that affects them. Now obviously, with any innovation or the rollout of any new system, there are bound to be technical glitches. And as you're shortly going to hear from our Secretary for Elections, Councillor Ian Makone, Ian a total of 143 by-elections are scheduled to take place throughout Zimbabwe on the 26th of March, 2022. Now, we only had minor irregularities in only three out of these 140 vacancy. Now that presents, just to put it in its proper perspective, a success rate of 98%, where we without incident following a very successful pilot community candidate selection process that took place recently. We obviously know that this is a period of transition, of flux, and creating a brand new machine. But for a new baby, that was only born on Monday. That's not a bad show. However, we've committed to do things differently, to be accountable and to be transparent to the public, the citizens whom we represent. And so that very small 2% has to be explained, which is why we're here today, the so-called double candidate saga. You're going to see very shortly that it's very much a storm in a teacup. President Nelson Chamis on Monday, in his big announcement, said that these by-elections are an appetizer for 2023, so it's good that these glitches are coming up now while we still have the opportunity to ensure that we correct the errors, ensure that we optimize for total success in 2023. That rectification process commenced immediately after nomination court sat yesterday. And as you will hear, of the three double candidate 
recent incidents, there have already been withdrawals from two candidates in line with our electoral law. So we only have one incident left. This, remember, is a tot out of a total of 143 by-election vacancies. This means that only one vacancy remains. We guarantee that it's going to be solved in a matter of hours, the same way the other two were. And so, ladies and gentlemen, what's clear is that we're staring success in the face. We wish to thank all the citizens that participated in our stakeholder cons consultation process. We'd like to thank all of those who offered themselves to stand on behalf of the Citizens Coalition for Change. And most importantly, we'd like to thank the important men and women who've been working tirelessly in the back room to ensure that all our processes, all our papers are together. They've managed in my multiple provinces in the country to ensure that all our nomination papers are properly filed. And so the critical thing, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Let's make sure that in all things, we remember the central goal. That's to win 6 million votes in the presidential election in 2023. To ensure that we've got a two-thirds majority in parliament and clean sweeps in local government. The yellow train is moving, and we call for all citizens to register to vote for change and for transformation so that we eradicate poverty, ensure that teachers and doctors are paid a living wage, to ensure that our young children stare in the face a bright future, and every person is food on the table. There must be freedom, fairness, and opportunity for all. So without further ado, I'm going to defer to uh, the more intelligent one, our Councillor Secretary for uh, in, uh, Elections in the Citizens Coalition for Change, Councillor Ian Makon, who's going to give a more technical report, report over what transpired and also just shed some light uh, over the flashpoints that we see as, a, uh, as important as we march towards the election. Thank you. Well, after such a, an eloquent presentation, I don't think mine will be necessary. Um, but um, I'd like to recognize our Secretary General, Sheldon Wendy, um, the leader Bondo, uh, otherwise Epson Jitziwa, and um, the, the advocate, the, the Mafume, it was also responsible for our local government and uh, working with this, this um, the, the deputy the, the secretary for communications the vote of Stalos, who is familiar to you all i also recognize uh, the host in the province uh, honorable the chikombo and i Greet you all. Well, we are delighted to be meeting you for the first time since proclamation of the by elections to be held on the 26th of March. In the build up to the nominations that took place yesterday in 22 constituencies and 121 local authority wards, there was much public interest and speculation over the vehicle that our party would use in the contest. We are pleased that any speculation on that score is now a thing of the past. And uh, Leader Mahere has already eloquently put that one to rest. <laughs> We're a new kid with a new name, a new vision that is embedded among the citizenry, creating a future that is long overdue. The advent of CCC has been met with much excitement and we stand ready not to disappoint the people of Zimbabwe as we journey through these by-elections towards 2023. The by-elections are largely about returning to voters what they were robbed of through recalls 
that were intended to silence the alternative voices in this country. These recalls added to denial by force to the occupation of our party headquarters, the evasion of legitimate state funding, and many other adversarial actions were intended to cripple, but the party is standing and ready for the fight. There was joy and jubilation <clears throat> at all nomination courts, and the team is ready to take up their rightful places in parliament and local authorities. To resume the work which, for which they were originally elected in 2018, and to serve Zimbabwe. As a matter of fact, the excitement was such that a couple of, in a couple of areas, second candidates slipped in the nomination uh, under the CCC brand. Uh, but Zai has already uh, updated you on the latest situation. Uh, we will end up with single candidates for each contested seat. CCC assures residents that the mess created by the recalls and unconstitutional interference by central government will be reversed and services will steadily return to normal as we prepare for the next harmonized elections. We urge citizens to take ownership of the voter registration blitz when it commences on 1 February. Their vote is their passport to livelihoods, to governance and economy. This bliss is the single opportunity there is for all unregistered citizens of voting age to claim their right to vote and determine the future direction of this great nation. We thus call upon ZEC and the Registrar General not to fail the citizens by making it easy for people to register close to their homes. We shall continuously visit this theme throughout the year, and especially during the election and voter registration campaigns. We restart that the citizens were at the center of our selection candidates, as already been outlined, and they will be at the center of our election campaign, just as they will own the election results. We continue to demand an even playing field in the state media, demand free political activities for all contestants, as well as an end to the abuse of state institutions, including traditional leaders and the security services, for whom we have high regard. I've decided to keep it nice and short, but there it is, and we are happy to take any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary Ian Makone. And I just wish to reiterate, if I may, um, our huge thanks as a movement on behalf of President Nelson Chamisa to some of the big, big men and women who are behind the scenes, Honorable Charlton Wende, uh, Professor Walsh, Professor Walsh Mimube, uh, Vice President Kore, uh, uh, Honorable Job Sikala, uh, Secretary Ian Makone, as I've already stated, and Ms. Ellen Shirie Denga. Those are among some of the people who are leading the charge, obviously, uh, His Worship Jacob Mafune as well in the elections directorate with a large team of people to really ensure that everything was done properly. Without further ado, I'm going to take a few questions. As usual, with our procedure, if you may kindly indicate your name, the media house you come from, and then go straight to your question. We're going to take one question. Uh, the lady. Yes. Thank you, my name is Yvonne. I start coming from Zimbabwe Daily. Uh, my question is, we had uh, the double candidate in Zawaro. What is the correct position of the party? Thank you. Yes. The, the correct <laughs> position is that uh, one of them is already withdrawn and we got the written. So, and, and, and as we say, it, um, the, we are engaging. These are, these, these are enthusiastic citizens wanting to represent their party, but there are correct ways and incorrect ways of doing it. Okay, but just to just building on what uh, Secretary Makone has said, there's only one incident, one irregularity remaining, and his office, together with uh, Honorable Wendy's office, are working um, round the clock to ensure that that's rectified. It's a minor irregularity in the grand 
scheme of things and it will will ensure that in 2023 it doesn't happen again. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Lars from 2063. Can you kindly just speak up? So you Sorry, can I think I've got a bit of a terrible thing. It's okay. Here. And my name is Lars from 2063. Uh, I think I've got two persons. Why well, we need to give you one because it's oh, a full okay. house. So let me go straight to the other person. Sure. All right, fine. Um, uh, Ms. Malcolm, you said that you're a new kid on the block, right? Uh, you've got new ideas. Uh, but where, do, where can we get um, uh, the constitution, the new constitution for the party? How do we know who is in leadership position? To, and uh, are you going for Congress as a party? Thank you, Lovejoy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, she's my extended arm. I'm his, okay. his right hand uh, lady. So obviously, we are rolling out uh, the launch of uh, the Citizens Coalition for Change. We are going to have a, a big launch party where all those things will be delivered to the public. But I guarantee you, we do have a constitution. There is clear leadership, all the protocols, everything is in order. So you just watch this space. In the same way that I always tell you, watch the space, wait for the appropriate time, I guarantee you all of those things will be clarified, including, most importantly, how does one join? That's the question that we're consistently being asked by citizens. How does one join? So even the membership rollout, the card uh, acquisition process, all of that is going to be shortly made clear. So thank you very much for that inquiry. Uh, yes, sir, at the back. Thank you, Takuchi Mbaku from Zim Papers TV. Can you just clarify the three areas that were affected by this uh, issue? And you said two of you already put in their resignation with withdrawals. And who are now the candidates? OK, mm -hmm. so I'll deal with the last question first. Who are now the candidates? Shortly, the elections directorate is actually going to produce a full list for all the 143 uh, by-election candidates that tells you exactly who's standing on behalf of the party pursuant to the candidate, community candidate selection process that was carried out. So just wait for that statement, it's going to come out. Um, on the second one, which areas? The areas that were affected were Wulawayo and Mashingo. Um, and there's only, Mashingo has been sorted out. One of the uh, incidences in Wulawayo has been sorted out, only one remains. So that's the, the trajectory, but every single other province, I mean, I know you you know that we've got many provinces, everything else went without incident. I'm sure you saw the jubilation in Gweru. Uh, Chairman Chikongo is here, Harare. It was a completely smooth sailing, smooth sailing uh, process. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Yes. Can you speak up? Uh, okay, I, I wanted to find out what uh, the circumstances, or can you clarify the circumstances which led to this uh, type of country that's been we had the news that uh, some papers were signed by Secretary Wende while we didn't sign other papers for the nomination. So what were the circumstances? Thank you. Concerning the circumstances, it's a pilot process. It's brand new. So we've got a template that was to be followed. Obviously, no blameworthiness lies in either the office of Honorable Wende or that of Professor Washington Nguye or that of uh, uh, VP Kore. Uh, the circumstances were to do with the execution or implementation of the, the template, and in the, the implementation of that template, the little bits that we saw where there were gaps for there to be irregularities have already been uh, changed and tightened to ensure that this never happened again. True to the fact that the template is a very functional one, we didn't have any incident in all the other over 140. Um, vacancy. So it's a template that definitely works, but instead of it working at 98% efficacy, we've now ensured that it works at 100% efficacy. So it's nothing to do with signatures, not a problem with the signature by Honorable Wende, not a problem with the signature by uh, Professor Walsh Marube, not a problem to do with the signature by uh, Honorable Kareni Kore. It's to do with the template and the manner in which it was implemented, but all of that has been sorted out, which is why all the glitches have been rectified. Yes, sir. I'm really question on the um, I would like to know if, um, when the people on the bill voting, uh, in terms of the symbols, which symbol are they going to identify as the, uh, the new party? Is it the, the, the pointing finger or is it the, the portrait of uh, President Nelson Chandler? Okay, so um, I think as has already been clarified, the party symbol is the triple C symbol, the one that's going to appear on the ballot paper. And that's the one with the logo triple C, and it also does have um, the face of 
the People's President Advocate Nelson Chalitza. Now, why is that important? We know that we're dealing with rogue agents who are insistent on shenanigans. We know that. You know, it's nothing about uh, building a cult around an individual, but we want there to be no confusion. You know that President Chamisa has said time and again that there will be no confusion. So we don't have a situation where, uh, you know, I, I don't want to mention any names, but we know the culprits come and say, no, we are the yellow party. Actually, we own Triple C. You know, we don't want that to happen. So when you've got the portrait uh, of President Nelson Chamisa, everybody is clear whether they're in Bikita, whether they're in Chibi, whether they're in Marondera, whether they're in Glenview, they know who they're voting for. So that's what's going to transpire, especially for the purposes of the by-election in 2023. Should there be any need to change that, you will be notified. Because remember, this is just a test run, a dry run, and, and to ensure that we've got everything in place for 2023, which you've been told is the main course. Right, we're going to just take two more questions from maybe someone who hasn't asked. But if there are no more questions, I'll just take one final one from Zoom Papers uh, TV Network, and then we'll close the press up. Thank you. I'm really intrigued with the new uh, people-centered criteria. Are you to me? So I uh, know it. <laughs> Let's so, assume. We welcome you. We yes. absolutely welcome you. Well, I, I'll be our political and just do my job. Sure, sure, sure. What <laughs> job the citizen is to participate? What happens for polls like the presidential polls, 2023? Are people going to be allowed to vote, or you seal that one for the current president's uh, application? Thank you very much. Um, the citizens are at the center of all decision making. We've already indicated that there is a constitution that's going to govern all those aspects. But what I can tell you is that the citizens know who their leader is. The people know who they want to represent them in 2023. I think for now, that's a good place to stop. So I continue to encourage you all, let's register to vote. Let's remember, like this gentleman, to wear a touch of yellow tomorrow for Yellow Friday and ensure that we all participate as is our obligation as citizens. And by the way, it can be gold as well, yellow or gold, both work. Thank you very much, journalists, for continuing to partner with us. Have a pleasant day.